Hey everybody, so today I am going to replace the uh, Beast Cart engine. I've got a shoot coming up in a couple weeks and I'd like to have a fresh engine on it. It's got quite a bit of time on the engine and it's uh, kind of coming apart on the inside is uh, when these things do finally come apart, it's, uh, it's in the inside. So you can't really see it. But this, this was an older test engine to begin with. It's got uh, things on it that uh, shouldn't be there, like these little pieces, and I've welded things on and cut things off. And It's been a really good engine. Uh, it's really strong, but I'm going to replace it. Here's all the parts on the ground. That's how all my engines start. Cut them out on a water jet machine, and then I take them all, every piece, up here on the roller, on the slip roll, and roll them. So you can see these little pieces right there, there's a whole stack of them. They're gonna be those. And on this engine, you can see the bends right here. Those are exhaust bends, automotive exhaust bends. But, and they're a three inch, so they're a standard size, so I buy those. But this engine is an oddball size because I increased the size of this engine by 15%. So this new engine is gonna be 15% bigger. So it makes those bends an odd size. So now I'll be uh, rolling and making those bends. So it looks like a big uh, two-stroke motor tomb pipe, which is basically what the engine is, a big tomb pipe. So I'm gonna get going on rolling all these, and then I'll come back and we'll look at all the pieces rolled, and then I'll start welding them together. And hopefully by uh, the end of this weekend, I will have a new motor to put on there, 15% bigger. Okay, got all the parts rolled. The new Maddox just triple valve was 15% bigger than the uh, old one that's on the cart there. New shiny motor, makes some more power. Okay, time to weld them together. All right, <laughs> there it is, man. Maddox Jets, triple valveless, 15% bigger than the one on the cart. I don't know how much power this thing's gonna make. Probably around 200 pounds of thrust. Something like that. That's three long days of welding right there. <laughs> A lot of welding in this thing. Okay, got the big engine done. Now I gotta pull the smaller engine off here and uh, rebuild the motor mounts and stuff for it because the new engine's about six inches longer. So that's the next project, taking it off. Okay, old engine off. Comes off real easy. I make it so they just uh, slide on. Let's take the bolts and nuts off. It just slides right off. So the new engine's gonna be a little bit bigger. So take a little work making new motor mounts for it. Okay, so here we go. Gonna fire up the beast. Take the new engine for a spin. Now it's uh, it's almost noon here, so the sun's really bright. So you're not gonna be able to see the fire and stuff from the engine like you usually do. But uh, we'll we'll go out. And we'll go real fast. <laughs> All right. So cameras are rolling. Okay, here we go.
man, this new engine's fast. Holy smokes. Well, that's the new run. <laughs> new super engine. A little bit of flame coming out. Turn off my propane and my diesel. Let the fire go out. Normally I don't have fire like that, but I didn't uh, get the diesel pump turned off, so it's got a little bit of little bit of diesel in it. Doesn't hurt anything. So thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.